What's up, ladies? Once again, I am Nevin here with a little bit of tech news. This one from the motherboard about hackers. The FBI says it can finally find hackers who don't smoke weed. The agency said it's, man uh, it's managed uh, to meet its hiring goals despite a ban on hiring anyone who's used marijuana in the last three years. My goodness, we won't find any Canadians around there. Jeez, even if you walk downtown Toronto in the afternoons, you're bound to get a whiff of it. Oh, it's in your system. System and you're a, you're a, you're a, you're a stoner. Uh, the most recent uh, election cycle was a big win for marijuana advocates with eight states legalizing medicinal and or recreational marijuana. Indeed, in the lead up to the elections, polls showed that a solid 60% of Americans uh, favored legalization of cannabis, yet the DEA doubled down on its commitment to keep cannabis a Schedule One drug last fall, allowing the federal agencies, including the FBI, to continue uh, to discriminate against job candidates who've puffed the magic dragon. Now, first off, is this really what you want to be doing? I mean, people can be throwing money at a tech company all day long. The USA can throw money at the government all day all day long the NSA the FBI any of these people but just because you throw a lot of money at these guys doesn't mean you're going to be getting the best and the brightest if you cut out this amount of young people who have grown up with this stuff who are good at this stuff you might be really shooting yourself in the foot because maybe one guy hangs around with stoners at land parties and he inhales oxygen within the room of these land parties I, I, I know you might not think but you do need to breathe air to exist and you can't hire those guys because they puffed once or twice in the last three years and you wonder why you're getting hacked Okay, so uh, basically what I believe the FBI, the NSA, and all these people are doing is it's kind of like Christians. They, they get out there with their religion, and they make a stand, and they say this, that, and the other thing. But the problem with getting out there and making a stand is you have to support what you're standing on. Just like with the NSA, the CIA, all these people, they have websites, they have IP numbers, these things get figured out, and they're a target. Now, anybody who goes against them doesn't have much to lose other than maybe looking like a jerk, or in this case, looking like a hacker. So what's going on here is these guys are just getting hit left, right, and center. It's uh, it, it's amazing. They're, they're cutting out so much talent, so many good people, so many good hackers that could fight for them, fight with the government against the problems out there. But no, they can't because these people have smoked weed once in the last three years. Oh my goodness, have you, uh, that's kind of like saying in the last five years, have you had a, a, have, have you had a hangover? We're being run too much by people that don't understand how any of this stuff works and thinks that just throwing money at problems will make it go away. These hiring practices are unnecessary and arbitrarily limiting the job candidate pool to exclude otherwise qualified candidates. These guys are going to go out there and they're going to find jobs in other places, man. They're going to find jobs hiding things from the government. The story of the discriminatory hiring practices are uh, holdovers from a bygone era, era. Paul, someone or other of the department, a deputy director of normal, <laughs> told me uh, jurisdictions where the use of cannabis is legally regulated have experienced an increase in the workforce uh, participation and decrease in workplace absenteeism okay that's another thing i want to touch on i don't know about you guys but when i go to work i work my butt off and i put everything i have into work and when i come back i am done done every now and then having a beer makes me feel really good helps me calm down when i come home i don't have the energy to be putting 100 percent into anything and neither does my wife so you you know what corporations and all those people out there you get me you get 100 percent of my energy you get eight hours of my time and you get 100 percent of my energy when i come home i don't have time for anything like my home pretty much if you've seen my uh tutorial on on uh, downloading torrents you can see what my place looks like it's not the best but we do what we can but honestly we only have so much energy in a day and when we come home we need to chill out but oh my goodness anyways these hiring practices are oh i already read that Anyways, just crazy. Oh, Americans and their guns. Oh, yeah. I want me some of that. I want to be firing one of those, but I don't want my neighbors to have one. Anyways, that's another story altogether. Now that the session uh, is the top lawman in the 
the session as the top lawman in the land. It's unlikely that things will get easier for hackers who enjoy the occasional spiff. Spliff. Spliff. Who has ever called it a spliff? And for those who aspire to work at the FBI and fight crime for our nation, it's probably best to forget about it or put down the joint for a few years. My God, man. What kind of dream world are these people living in? These old people. They just don't get it. And I'm sure they have huge benders with their friends. And they're all like, oh, guess what I did when I got drunk? Or I cheated on my wife, but it's okay because I'm drunk and I'll get marriage counseling and Jesus will forgive me. Oh, man. It's just, it's just, oh. These kids are going to go somewhere else. This talent is going to go somewhere else. And this talent just flourishes someplace it isn't always about what school they go to it's just what they kind of come in with their brains perfectly work with certain code or certain systems and you are just putting them on the other side of the line guys you're being stupid fbi nsa government workers hire a stoner man <laughs> it's like oh man what 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 is it with all these people that think marijuana is the same as cocaine I, oh, it just hurts my head. Who would think that marijuana and cocaine and heroin are all the same thing? That stuff's not going to work. It's just not going to work, and it's not working. Hell, in Canada, we're going to have this stuff legalized, uh, what is it, next Canada Day? Yeah, next, not this coming one, but the one after that. So, geez, while you guys are doing that kind of stuff out there, we get everybody else running around with Russian hacker technology or stuff that looks like Russian Federation stuff just because pe my man just because people are using tools that were made in russia doesn't mean it's made by russians but 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 really we got a while to get our heads straight but hey you know what maybe i shouldn't be mad or upset or anything about this because the fbi the fbi uh they think they got everything under control and they keep getting their stuff leaks but hey you know what you know what i shouldn't be upset because if these guys are stupid enough not to hire the best and brightest because they smoke weed, not because they do meth, not because they do coke, not because they do any of those other things. You can consider weed the same as all of this other uh, really super hard stuff. You're just, you're just begging to get your stuff leaked. Like you think you're all that? You're an eco chamber where you're getting so much money and, oh, you work for the government, so you're an awesome person and thank you for your service and you're an excellent human being and we'll stick with everything the way it is. Well, okay, so the kids out there who are high on weed, you know what, the kids that are high on weed aren't going to be the ones even hacking you. The one of the ones that are going to be hacking you, the ones on meth. Because, man, they, uh, their brains are wired a little something differently. You know, meth is the same as a lot of the stuff that we give people problems with concentration. You get on enough meth, man, you might be picking flesh off your body, but shoot, you're concentrated. You're, you're right there, but, oh, man, FBI. What is it with these old people? What, what is it with these old people? I swear to God, if, if we lose all these old people, it would be a very sad place and the millennials would have a job and I'd miss my dad and all that stuff. So, you know, let's not even talk about that. But yeah, the FBI not taking hackers if they smoked weed <laughs> for three years. I'm sure they'll, they'll find lots of talent. But damn, you're just shooting yourselves in the foot, guys. Anyways, that's it for me. Never from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. It really helps me out. And comment. If you think I'm an idiot, say something down below. If you think I'm onto something, say something down below. If you are a hacker and you have not smoked weed for three years, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Anyways, again, that's it for me. Have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.